Okay, I'm Richard Michelson from Louisville, Kentucky, and I own and operate RISCO, Risk and Insurance Services Company, and uh, Michelson Insurance Group. And RISCO, we're basically licensed public insurance adjusters, meaning that we handle for the benefit of the claimant his or her property claim and present that to and argue with as needed the insurance company to get the property proper claim payment on a, could be a fire, water, wind, hail, loss, something of that nature. Uh, Michelson Group, Michelson Insurance Group, uh, has been in business for several years and what we found out is that uh, we need to help people write their insurance policies and we usually are meeting these people in the through the claims process and by uh, assessing their insurance policy and writing the proper coverages we can hopefully get them out of a pickle where they won't have this problem again with an insurance claim so that's kind of our strategy to you what's the difference between exchanging or equity marketing and more, the more standard version of real estate brokering so I as a vendor to this group and to other groups of real estate exchangers it seems like most real estate agents and professionals kind of it's a business as usual someone is interested in a property uh, the property might be presented to them uh, and, and they're gonna they're gonna go to the bank and they're gonna probably use funds from a bank or financial institution to execute that deal in the exchanging world does some of that go with it, yeah, some people go out and get some bank financing, but it seems to be an industry where the equity in, in one another's property is what you really use to secure that acquisition. So if you had a shopping center and I had a shopping center and I want a piece of yours, I might offer up some of the equity in my shopping center. And then maybe someone else that we met at a meeting would be willing to uh, write a note, a promissory note uh, to secure interest or you or I might write that note someone else may back it they may buy the note it could then be sold off later there's creativity I guess in these marketing groups uh, which is what the main difference is between them and other folks just practicing the uh, real estate business in the standard manner in which they do why do you think it's uh, not um, as popular like there's only this is a big turnout we only have 120 people for the national convention right right i think that the exchanging world is looked at uh real estate exchanging is a little bit kind of voodoo-ish almost uh it's just so out of the box that people think maybe there must be something wrong with it no this isn't the way that everybody does it they don't always exchange they go to banks and get normal financing that's how real estate's done and I think that's the mindset and that's what makes people stray away a little bit from these groups or not want to explore them and not want to get involved, maybe go to one meeting and not go to any more because they just don't get it and they don't get what they don't understand. And uh, I think those that put the time into it and go to meetings and, and start networking with the folks in these groups and are of this mindset of the exchanging of the equity marketing I think uh, uh, that that's when you re really get the benefit of it. But uh, if you just kind of look at it superficially, yeah, it's going to scare you off a little bit. When you say they, you mean other brokers. Other but brokers. Do you think that part of it is uh, a fear or an uneasiness on this, in the, from the sense of the client? I, I think that um, I think the the real estate agent or broker's clients might understand it if it's brought to them but i think it's almost too misunderstood by the broker or agents that aren't normally involved in the equity marketing uh, strategies i think they might not even know how to explain it to their client because it's just something that's just different and it's out of the box and i think they might scare their client off a little i think they might have the perception that they might scare their client off a little bit and a lot of it's activating the equity in a property you already have to take the place of cash. So if you have a million dollars and we can get into a deal together, well, that million dollars of cash, uh, that's fine, but it might be a little more creative to use a million dollars of equity in your building, not have to sell it, come to me and say, hey Rich, I like what you have, why don't I trade some of my equity in and put that towards your deal 
And, and then you can kind of save your cash or maybe use your cash to help you in other ways. Or sometimes, as you may have seen in that class, they have an add cash provision where you can take a building and offer to give X amount for it, but then add cash so that uh, uh, it makes the deal, I guess, a little more attractive. Why do you think it hasn't caught on yet? Well, I think to some extent it has caught on, but I'm in circles of people and businesses and so forth, uh, groups and meetings that, that they're kind of geared towards it. Um, again, I think it's a little, it's perceived as being a little voodoo-ish. It's not at all voodoo-ish. But I think that's why it hasn't caught on because it's just like, hey, there's too many people out there that just have cash that can parlay it into a deal and get normal bank financing. So it's, uh, it's just not normally how things are done, but it is part of how real estate things get done, the exchanging or the equity marketing. Um, but when you're in these groups, I mean, they really step it up and it's in, it's in your face. As to specifically why it hasn't caught on, I think it's just not as, as understood, and I think okay. it's just more understood that you go to the bank and you borrow money to buy a building, and anything else is like, hey, wait a second, I you know, yeah, I don't know about this. For sure. Um, do you think do you think there's more of a sense of community within the groups of real estate exchangers and or equity marketing exchangers? Um, a lot of them know each other and work together and work deals together. It is a small community. Um, I've been fortunate enough to uh, have been in a couple different or a few different groups and, uh, and I meet people, a lot of them know each other. There's some overlap within those groups. But uh, yeah, it's a small community and it's, it's catching on. Um, and um, um, the, the, the best way to get the exposure there and to learn about it and the reason I know about it is just from my marketing through my businesses to vend to the folks that are in these groups so that's really why I know about it but uh, it is something that seems to be catching on me I, I see some new people coming to meetings and then I see them coming back to meetings and when I see that I know hey someone probably gets it yeah because when you have the folks that come to one meeting or maybe even one or two but then they don't show up again. Well, they just, I don't think they got it. You know, they didn't get the message. So I think this, this plays into the uh, theory of uh, exchanging, not only exchanging real estate, but exchanging information about real estate and about how to do transactions. And what I could tell you that without, I think, any exceptions, and I've been hundreds and hundreds of, of exchangers throughout the last, I don't know, 10 or 11, year, 11 years maybe that I've been involved in these types of groups. Um, these groups aren't looking to take something away from somebody. They're not looking to, uh, it's not a secret society. There's no secret handshakes, anything like that. If you're willing to come in as a broker or agent and counsel with and come up, brainstorm and come up with different ideas for buying or selling or doing a deal, uh, the exchangers typically are just thrilled to death to work with you. They're not interested in your customers and taking your deal that's not how it happens it's an open platform of sharing information and formulas they refer to the way they make these deals happen as uh, formulas and they sell books on these formulas you can go buy a formulas book written by somebody who was very knowledgeable in this business and it, it might give you you know 50 ideas of how to do a transaction buy sell whatever um, these groups are not secretive. They're not looking to take business away from anybody. They're looking to share information and do deals and bring you into the fold. That's been my take on it. I, I don't see the, the competition aspect within these groups. If some stranger real estate person comes and wants to learn and, and try to do deals and be counseled and, and help understand the methodology, they're not going to run into people that are real aggressive at all about trying to take anything away from them. They just want to really add to their knowledge base and, and, and help them. That's what I've seen. I uh, vend uh, basic uh, insurance and risk management um, uh, services to people, writing insurance, handling property claims. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's basically uh, they. I will meet them and they will remember me. And it's funny that uh, six months down the road, I may not even remember somebody that I met at a meeting in Vegas or Charlotte or whatever city I'm in. But they'll remember me. Part part of that's just because what we do with the insurance claims and the uh, uh, writing of insurance is uh, kind of unique to a unique group. Our approach on it is uh, we're risk management and consulting oriented. Uh, we're results oriented um, on the claim side we're typically contingency oriented so we we do things and get results and get paid and if we don't get results we simply don't get paid so a decent portion of why you come here is networking yes are there any other reasons that you well want to i mean i've i've owned some real estate and I, I i enjoy the business and and i've made lots of friends in this industry so i like to kind of know what they're doing but overall uh, um, it's uh it's an experience of just making friends and network. It's a pleasure to do business with people in these in these groups. It really is, uh, and uh, I, I look forward to coming to the meetings. Uh, um, even though I might not feel like it, jumping on an airplane, it's always nice to come see lots of friends and, and folks that I've met throughout the years that have, have been just good people. And and I yeah, real estate's got my my ear a little bit, my attention. It's just uh, it's a very interesting business. I've owned some real estate. I own a little bit now, not a lot, but a little, and uh, I'd like to maybe beef up my holdings as well. No, I've uh, I've enjoyed the different groups that I've been in, and it's uh, it's been rewarding, uh, uh, somewhat financially, but also just from the standpoint of social, meeting people, and just you know having friends. There's pretty much not a city out there that I couldn't say, hey, I've got to go to wherever, and you know, hey, maybe I'll call so and so and have lunch with them. Well, I've pretty much got friends and. You know most major cities now so that's kind of a fun aspect of it.